Can you see the unique Blizzard Hog Riders at Tunnel 12? The plan is simple. We will blimp out this section and get a good value. Then we will eliminate the town hall with our sneaky goblins, charge the heroes to eliminate the clan castle, and then use the hog riders on the remaining base. Simple enough. We'll start with sneaky goblins, we'll deploy 3 of them, and then set the blimp from this side. I want those exos out, let's see if the super wizards can do that. We'll make them invisible, one by one. I think they stepped on a giant ball, they are low on health, but we will try to get as much value as possible. We're going to use our final invisibility and they got pretty much okay value. The lure is CC, so that's good. We'll deploy the ice golem, the king, and one funneling Valkyrie there, the queen also. I will deploy the headhunters on that king and also poison the whole place. Let's start eliminating that town hall. We'll deploy the super wall breaker, one test sneaky goblin, and haste the remaining of them towards that town hall. The town hall will fall in a second. Our queen is going to get that enemy clan castle and she's going to move up. The king on the other hand is going towards this compartment and he will get at least that mortar down before falling. Now it's time to start the hog riders. We'll deploy them from this side. We'll deploy a group there, another group on that eagle artillery and we will heal around that inferno tower. We still have got a few more left. We'll deploy them from the top side. I'm going to save the warden ability for a little bit longer. The queen still has got her ability, so that is nice. We can pop it on a strong defense later on. We used the second heal spell on those hog riders in the core. They took one expo and a wizard tower out. Now I would like to use the warden ability as they approach this multi. The hog riders are alive on this side and they seem to be doing well. We'll snipe that cannon with our wizards. That worked out nicely and the troops are moving in fast. Now only that archer tower and a wizard tower slept in the core. I'll be using my queen ability in a bit to fast up the process. It worked out nicely because the wizard tower attracted the hawks towards the core where there are the remaining resource buildings. The queen with her ability is going to finish that elixir storage and this is going to be a triple. This requires a little bit of practice but it's super fun to do. Here the eagle artillery is located there. We'll blim that. Get the queen with our heroes along with the clan castle and we will charge the remaining base with the hog riders. Let's first deploy a few balloons and then the blip. The balloons will take out that air defense and that mortar. We will open it, invisible and then reach as usual. I want that eagle out, that expo and the rest will be bonus. Clan castle has been triggered. We kind of lost two of them but we still have got two remaining. I want that e-drag out at this point but my last invisibility spell was not on point and we are going to lose out on that. But it's fine, the heroes will pick up that, we'll deploy the ice golem, king, queen and super barbarians for funneling. Let's eliminate that with our balloon. We'll also deploy one headhunter for that queen. You know, poison this whole place down, use the king ability in a bit. I want those barbarians out because we're just about to engage a single target in front of our. The single set on our queen so we will use queen ability. We'll deploy a wizard, archer and the only minion. The queen should be able to pick up that inferno tower. Okay, let's begin our hogs. We'll deploy a few of them here, followed by clean up wizards. We'll hold on to our warden for just a little bit longer. I think I will deploy one heal spell here around that wizard tower. The next group of hog riders with the warden here. And another heal spell around that multi. There is that king, so we still have got two of the headhunters remaining. We'll deploy them. We will use the warden ability right now that will save the hog riders from that town hall blast and get the enemy king with our headhunters. This worked out quite nicely. The inferno in the middle compartment is also down. We have got a lot of skellies that have popped up. I wish I had a poison spell, but I carried an extra invisibility in this one. So we will not be able to take out the skellies right away, but we can manage. There is only one wizard tower remaining and after that has been taken out, the hogs will turn to the skellies. And now it's just clean up. The headhunters took out some of the skellies in the area. They're pretty good in that and there are also wizards that have survived. They will help in this process quite a bit. And we got it. In this one we will blimp out this section, charge the heroes from this side and release the hog riders from this side. First we will deploy two coco loons. They will search for seeking air mines. The distance is not that long so the blimp does not need a tanking hound. 
We are going to open it manually, but before that we will make everything invisible, then reach the whole thing. We do not need that many invisibility spells in this part, because everything is compressed in such a small place, but the super wizards will trigger the clan castle. We will pull them with an ice column followed by the king and few funneling troops here and there. I'll read a little bit and deploy the queen in a way that the clan castle does not engage with the queen right away. We will be poisoning them in a bit and there's a lot of trash buildings on this side so we will deploy one archer. I think I will deploy one headhunter for that queen. The king has the ability so the headhunter is not that necessary and it's also going to get roasted by that multi but it's okay. The queen has been taken out that's what is important. Now we will start our hog riders from this side a lot of them and we will deploy some of them on these defenses so that the main pack go straight in. We also have two headhunters we'll save them for just now. We're gonna use our first heal spell around that inferno tower that will be taken down shortly we'll deploy the headhunters another heal here and then we'll wait for a bit because we still have got the healing spell on and just before the town hall drops we will activate the warden ability this way we will save everything and the enemy king will also fall at this point there is nothing stopping our hogs so we will just use the invisibility on them here try to make them invisible also use the queen ability to fast up the cleanup she's taking care of the trash buildings down below and then swag the last invisibility and we have it. The halls are moving in fast and there's one single headhunter working on the clan castle. Simple enough. This time we have a tanking hound. We will blimp out this section. We'll take out everything inside that compartment and if possible even the clan castle. Then charge our hero from this side and lead the rest of the base for the hog riders. Let's deploy the hound followed by the blimp. Now we will open our blimp in a second. The hound is going to pop and it has tanked well. As the usual, we'll make everything invisible, rage and we will try to eliminate everything here. Using invisibility spell is not that hard. Just make your wizards invisible and give the target that you want eliminated in sight. The super wizards will take care of the rest. We have got more invisibility spells left. This wizard has got a lot of value. It even got the clan castle down. There we go. After this, the next step can begin. I would like to get this compartment out along with that inferno tower. So we'll deploy all the things. We will also eliminate those collectors up there so that both of our heroes go in. The king is not going where I wanted him to go, but it's okay. I will transition him to the next compartment. The queen already got the inferno tower down. We're gonna use the king ability here and deploy a lot of hog riders, the warden, and maybe deploy the headhunters to take out the enemy king. We have a few hog riders remaining that I'll be using in a bit. The first heal has been used. We still have got one more. I would like to heal around that multi inferno. More hog riders. I'll take out that mortar with the super barbarian. The warden was ditching our hog riders, but he's back on the track. We can eliminate that bomb tower first and then deploy the rest of the hog riders from the top. This is a good time to use the warden ability. The poison spell was used to take out the skellies. It would seem one of them has survived. We have got two wizards remaining. I would like to eliminate that mortar. I've got another wizard. I think I would like to get that cannon down. But since that is not possible directly, we will just deploy it on that mortar again. Now all of the defenses are out and the hog riders are sweeping in fast. The headhunters surprisingly help in the cleanup process a lot. I like this cleanup task the most since you have got all the base down. This was Blizzard Hog Riders. Now if you want to see more Town Hall 12 strong war strategies then check out this video. You can easily 3 star Town Hall 12s with these strategies. Before we end this video I would like to thank Janaka for sending me the friend request and if you would like to do the same then this is my playwriting.